Welcome back to our video series for release control 6.1. As a reminder, so far we have release control installed and set up. Now we are just doing the uh, plugin configuration. Release control uses plugins in order to integrate with other systems, and that is the best way to get the most out of release control. In this video, we are going to set up the Dimensions CM integration. The configuration for the plugin is done through the provider. So the easiest way to get to there is to open up the SBM configurator, go to the Release Control tab, and then click the link that goes out to the provider admin. And this does require that you're an administrator. In this plugin area, we can see our different integrations. We have a separate plugin installed for Dimension CM, SBM, and SDA. These are the three that come out of the box when you first install. As part of the plugins, we have the configurations that actually configure what the plugins do. So we are going to configure the one that's for Dimension CM. So we'll click Update. Most of the information is already filled in for you. All you have to do is replace some of the key pieces. So we will come down to the Dimension CM Web Service and change uh, this information. So my Dimension server is called DimCM14. And we'll put the same in the web UI. And then you need to put in your database name, your connection name, and then also the server name again. Okay. If you have Dimension set up to use single sign-on, you can change this to be true. I do not have that set up, so I'm going to leave it at false. And I'm going to put in a username and password. This is basically a system account that we can use for this integration because I do not have single sign-on set up. All right, we're going to just look through some of the rest of this and see what else is interesting. In the execution area, this is information on how we can connect two dimensions in order to run different kinds of jobs. And I'll show you that in a minute so you can see that. But the important thing here is to notice the name and the description. The users who are using release control will see that information. So I want to point it out and this is where you can change it later if you don't like how it looks in the system. The deployment unit is the section that allows you to choose the baseline about what is going to be deployed. So you can choose the baseline stream, whatever it is, but this defines that portion. And again, this is the name and description that we'll, the users will see, and I'll show you where that's at. These are the filters about what they can choose from. So for example, if you only want baselines that are marked as verified, you can take out the rest of this. So this helps you to narrow down exactly what is returned. And similarly, we have the request section. In here, we also have a name and description that the users will see in the system and another filter uh, choices for you. Down at the bottom, you can choose what you're going to allow the users to do. So for example, maybe you are not going to use dimensions for requests. Requests are things like, you know, update this, update that, you know, different requests, why you're doing this release, what the purpose of this release is for. But if you're not storing those requests in dimensions, then you can just come in and disable that portion. I'm going to leave it on just so we can see what it looks like. And update. Also, if you want to get more information about these fields, a very good way to do that is to jump out to our help system. Oh, let me show you that. You just jump out to help.serena.com and go over to release control. 
In the plugin area, we have documentation for each of the plugins. So if you open up the Dimension CM plugin, you'll be able to read all about it. And actually, if you zip down to page 9, it will give you a detailed description about each one of those fields. So there's more information available there. But really, that's it. It's very simple to configure. So we'll just say Update. And now we can go back over to uh, Release Control. Oh, looks like I took over that window by mistake. That's all right. OK, so now we're back over into Release Control. And we can take a look and see what that integration looks like. I have a sample release package here that we can use. I'll just open this one up. OK, so the first place that we usually go is the deployment units. So units is the information about what is going to be deployed. So that's what we'll do first. Right now we have nothing in our list to be deployed. So we're going to edit that list. And here we can click on the plus to see what we want to deploy. We have, we're right now setting up the Dimension CM uh, plugin. So this is the name that we saw earlier in the plugin. And when I hover over it, this is the description. So we're in the deployment unit area. So if we come back over and look at this really quick, we'll say update. And we are in the deployment unit area. So that that we just saw is the name and description that comes out of here. So as you get used to the system, if you think the users would be better served with a different name, you can always come back and change it. Out of the box, we also have the SDA integration set up, but we're not focused on that one right now. We're going to do the dimensions. OK, so once it loads, you can choose which product you have. I have two products in my dimension system. You can have however many are in your system. I'm going to use our sample Clarius database. You can enter filter information if you want to, but then you can just do find, and that will search out in the dimension system and find anything that applies. So we have two baselines right now that uh, fit our criteria. So we can just pick one if we want to. Let's go for Java. We'll add. You can pick as many as you want or as few as you want. We'll just have the one for now and close that out. OK, so there we are. Let's try the deployment task next. And I do have one task in here, but that's not a dimensions one. So let's edit our, our task list, and we'll add one for dimensions. So we'll click our plus. Here's our dimensions. Again, this is the name and description that is in the plugin configuration, and you can go in and change that at any time. OK. I'm not going to actually, well, I guess I can do this. Let's see. What kind of actions do we have? Let's do a promote. OK, we'll just say promote application. We'll make something generic. And next, you can choose your product. Again, we have all the products in the system. We'll stick with Clarius. And then you can choose your project. And let's see, who do I want to choose? We'll pick this. And you can enter a comment. And then in the next section, you can choose which environments this is going to happen in. So for example, we're doing a promote. So do you want to allow people to promote from dev to something else? Of course we do, right? And from QA, we do. But once you're in production, that's the end of the line. There's no promotion anymore. But we do want people to be able to promote into production. So that's what we're going for. All right, so we're going to map, basically, the dimensions stage to the release control side. So in release control, I have my system set up with a path of dev QA prod. If we were doing this for real, you would change release control to match dimensions. So just bear with me for this example. 
So we're mapping the dev to dev, and we'll map QA to QA, and we'll map prod to live. And again, we would make those match up better if, if this was a real system. All right, so we'll save that. Okay, and now we have all of them on here. We do have to link the uh, we do have to link the task to the dimensions unit because we have to be able to tell the system what it is that we're going to promote. In our case, we're promoting our deployment unit to these environments. So we have to click this little link in order to connect them. So we're going to say that we're going to use our deployment unit. That's the one that we picked earlier. Now I probably should have picked the uh, ones that were related to each other, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so we'll save that. Okay, and then we can close here. All right. Oh, we still have a red one. Let's see. Oh, this is just warning us that, as you can read here, the um, the baseline that we picked earlier is already in the dev stage. So this one is not going to work. So we can just edit that. So we'll edit our task. And we'll just come over here and click our little pencil. and come down and we don't actually need to promote into dev because it's already in dev so we'll just take that one out and save it alright so now we've taken care of all of our errors perfect alright so now we can go down and let's see what it looks like in the request area so we'll edit our list of requests. This request came from the SBM integration, but we want to add a dimensions request. So let's add our dimensions request. Again, here is our name and description from our plugin. Let's come in here and we'll choose our product. We can filter things out if we want to, and then we can search. Okay, and now we have a lot of different requests in here. And we can pick, I don't know, maybe, maybe we have a few of these. We'll pick a couple. And then add the request to our list. Okay, so now we have several requests. And we'll close this out. Okay, so now when we look in our request uh, tab, we can see everything that's linked to the system. Some of them are dimensions and some of them are SBM, but we see all of them in one view. So that is what I wanted to show you today, and I hope that that helps you to configure your system and get it up and going. Check back in a little while and watch the next portion on our video series where we will be setting up the integration with uh, Serena Deployment Automation. All right, thank you.